Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on our P48 project, 1948 Chevy 3100. And uh, this is uh, gauge day round two. So today I'm going to be putting together um, our new gauges. All of, uh, all of our gauge pieces came in. So uh, it's kind of an exciting day. I get to uh, clean up uh, these old gauge housings and put our new face gauges, uh, brand new gauges, into our housings and um, mount them up in the dash. So kind of an exciting, exciting day for me. Um, these gauges that we ordered uh, from Classic Industries are amazing. They're beautiful gauges. Um, here you can see our charge gauge. Just perfect finish. Looks very high quality. Um, really nice gauges. Here's our oil pressure gauge. And these are going to go back into our original gauge housings. So they'll have the, the original chrome bezel, which has a little bit of a uh, little bit of pitting here and there, but isn't in too bad a shape. And our uh, gauge bezels um, that go around the gauges themselves, um, which have a little bit of wear to them too. But it's gonna it's gonna be a nice look. It's gonna be a you know the gauges go with the truck. They look like they belong in the truck. Um, they're aged and tarnished, uh, but they'll have all brand new functionality and the faces and all the needles and everything are OEM brand new. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna look great. And the piece de resistance uh, of the whole order here is our brand new speedometer. It's just beautiful. Um, what this is is a is a 49 speedometer that uh, that goes up to 90 miles an hour. The the 1948 speedometer only goes up to 80. So I'm pretty sure this truck's going to see a little more than 80 miles an hour once in a while. So um, I thought it would be nice to have the 90 mile an hour speedo uh, in the truck. The the only difference is the color of the needles. The uh, 48 uh, Chevy 3100 used red red needles on the gauges and had the 80 mile an hour speedometer. The 49 and later, I guess, had the white needles. Um, and the 90 mile an hour speedometer. So I'm going to paint the needle red so that it matches all of our other needles. Um, and we'll have the, the uh, 90 mile an hour speedometer. Uh, another, another nice piece that came in today is our Chevy Bowtie locking gas cap. It's a, it's a reproduction, but it's a really, really nice looking piece. That, uh, that is going to look great here. It's got the domed, domed face with a nice little trim edge. Um, Chevy bow tie came with keys. And I think that is going to look great on the outside of our cab. So I'm going to get started on this stuff and get to work on putting these gauges back together and getting the housings cleaned up. And um, I'll get some video of that.
Hey guys, uh, so continuing on with uh, the gauge uh, reassembly here, uh, putting our gauges back together. Um, I got the multi gauge here reassembled, looking good, ready to go back in the truck. Um, and I started putting the speedometer back together, uh, but I need to paint the needle red and uh, the colors that I had didn't work so I'm gonna go pick up uh, pick up some paint I think I'm just gonna spray it so I'm gonna get a small can of, uh, of dark red uh, kind of a blood red color to match those needles on the multi gauge alright guys so I went and picked up some red uh, paint for the needle here on our speedometer and I think it's a pretty decent match to uh, the needles on the other gauge faces um, right now it looks a little bright because there's so much red here but I think once I remove the tape it's going to be fine I'm sure it's hard to see in there but uh, that's the needle alright guys well <coughs> I'm pulling the uh, the tape off of our speedometer here see how the needle looks and if uh, my color choice was close or not I picked maroon almost there we'll see if this is a win or a loss or a draw <laughs> I'm hoping for a win here. I could use one. But when I saw the name on the can was maroon, and that's the color I liked, and it was close to what the other gauges look like, I thought, maroon? It's not what I would have sent the wife to pick up, for sure. But... I think uh, I think we'll be in the ballpark here. If I can get this tape off without bending the damn needle. I should have just taped it bare without this paper towel under there. I was going to hand paint it originally, which is why I just covered it with some paper towels but then when I decided to pick up spray paint I thought I'm not gonna spray it through a paper towel that would have left a a mist of red all over our gauge faces which would not have gone over well oh yeah I think that's gonna work just great so there's the face of our speedometer with our brand new gauge and our old housing and uh, our red needle. I'm going to clean this very well with some Windex before I assemble it like I did the other gauge. Because once you close it up, it's very hard to get back into it. But for this test fit, I'm just going to stick it around there. Make sure she's in all the way before you start pushing on stuff. There we go. I like it. I think that's going to work. What do you guys think? So I'm going to wipe this down with some Windex get it nice and clean the chrome as well Windex is great for cleaning chrome give everything a good uh, a good once over inside and out uh, face the gauge make sure I don't have any fingerprints on there um, make sure the, the chrome of the needle is clean um, and then clean the glass put it together crimp the edges and we'll be all set
Well guys, that pretty much wraps up the video on the gauges. Um, I'll get some video when I put them in the truck. Um, I'm going to try and get to that today, but I don't think I have the nuts to hold them into the dash. The, uh, the dash has studs behind where the gauge is mounted that engage these mounting ears around the perimeter of the gauge. And I don't know that I have any nuts that fit that. I'm hoping they're quarter twenty. I haven't, I haven't climbed under there to look yet. I just kind of felt back in there with my hand. Uh, so hopefully I have something that fits, uh, and I don't have to order something expensive. Uh, what you guys saw me do here when I crimped on these aluminum trim rings is I just used a screwdriver and just pushed the edge over. I mean, they're very thin metal. Um, you don't have to uh, you don't have to crimp down on them with a pair of pliers. These both these gauges have teeth marks here from somebody else that's had them apart before. You can see the dents in the chrome, and I see that a lot when I work on gauges where people have just muscled down on them. You know, these things. These things sit in your dash. They're not holding anything together, really. Uh, it's not going to fall apart if you don't, you know, if you if you just put a, a nice crimp on there. Um, as you can see, this one's pretty badly dimpled up and scratched up from somebody just going at it with a pair of pliers. There's no need for that. So I just pushed over all the way around the perimeter in probably about six spots pretty much where I saw marks from previous people dimpling them is where I pushed the lip over against the back of the housing and you can see this thing's not it's not going anywhere it's not gonna fall off and now what I did with these gauges when you saw me put them together I'm not sure if I covered it in the in the video um, what I did with these gauges is I assembled them. You have to assemble the bottom gauge first. The gauges overlap each other. Or no, it's the fuel gauge and the oil pressure gauge are the two base gauges. And the water temp and the DC sit on top of those. So you want to put those in first. And when you put your fuel gauge in, you want to make sure you use your insulator on the inside of the fuel gauge, on the inside of the housing. Uh, and on the outside of the studs as well so that they don't ground out on the shell of the housing and make your gauge not work. They should be insulated from the housing itself. Uh, same with your DC gauge. This has insulators as well and needs to be insulated from the gauge. Otherwise you get a short and it's not going to work or it's going to pop your fuse all the time or cause a fire, I don't know. Um, the other two gauges are mechanical gauges. Uh, but these electric gauges you want to make sure are insulated and you have to double check that when you put your fuel gauge in first put your insulators in place screw the, the, the nuts down finger tight hand tight and then take your multimeter and probe, probe continuity to the casing and make sure that neither one of these is touching the edge or um, on the inside there's a metal uh, bus that goes across make sure that's not grounding out on the housing of your gauge check them with the multimeter check your oil pressure or your uh, DC gauge as well and make sure that's not grounding against the housing and that's pretty much it you don't want to have to take this apart because you didn't check your fuel gauge so do that one first get it mounted in the housing with your insulators and check it before you start stacking the other gauges on top of it because then you have to take all these little screws out and take these other gauges apart uh, to fix the problem if you if you are grounding out ask me how I know so uh, check that first and don't forget to order your your uh, pigtails for your light bulbs that's what these are hopefully these clip in here so I'm going to clip these in place for now just to keep dust out of here dust, dirt, spiders, small rodents. So when you order your bulb holders, order your bulbs too. <laughs> I'm going I'm to have to get some bulbs. But now that seals it up, nothing can get in there. It's not airtight probably, but it's uh, dust tight. 
and spider type. So there you go. I'm going to stick the bulb holders in the back of the speedometer as well to keep dust out of this one. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the content, please click like and subscribe. And uh, check out the other video of the exhaust. I'm doing some cool work on, uh, on the cross member to get clearance for our exhaust tubes. So I'm doing that at the same time as I'm doing this. And I think I'm doing one other thing also at the same time. So check the other videos out.